Hello viewers, does your car make a metallic tapping noise that sounds like this? Well, if it disappears as soon as you start the engine and its frequency changes as you rev it up, there is a good chance it's caused by tapping lifters. And while this, in most cases, is not as dangerous as, say, corn rod knock or piston slap, it is annoying and in this video we'll see how you can try to get rid of it. Hydraulic lifters, or tappets as some call them, can become noisy for several reasons, either mechanical or more often lubrication related. So when they start making odd noises, the first thing you should check is the engine oil. If its level is low, there might not be enough of it to reach the cylinder head where the lifters are located. With that in mind, go ahead, pull out the dipstick and check the oil level and top it up to the max marking if needed. Also, keep an eye on the oil level in the following weeks and months to establish the consumption. If it's high, I suggest watching this video which explains the common causes for this. The next on the list is the engine oil itself. If it's not the correct type, either too thin or too thick, it could cause noisy valve lifters. This is because the lifters rely on the oil to run smoothly, which is something I'll explain in more detail later. At this point, all you need to know is to use the engine oil that meets the requirements set by the manufacturer in terms of grade and specification, which you can find in the owner's manual or on the internet. Moving along to the sludge inside the engine, which is probably the most common cause of a valve tapping noise. This jelly-like substance forms as a result of poor maintenance when the oil isn't changed frequently enough. The resulting thick oil sludge blocks the oil pathways inside the engine and accumulates inside sensitive components, such as valve lifters, preventing their proper operation. So, if you have a noisy tapping engine that's also all covered with black buildups from the inside, like this, performing a thorough oil flush might solve the issue. This is similar to a standard oil change, but instead of regular oil, you'll use a specialized detergent that dissolves all the gunk inside the engine. And after this is done, you'll drain the flushing oil and replace it with correct oil type for your vehicle. If the oil change hasn't done much to quiet down the noisy tappets, what you can do next is try using a valve lifter additive. This liquid is specially formulated to revive the lifter's performance and additionally lubricate valve train components, and it often gives good results on high mileage and neglected cars. The application is in most cases that simple. You need to warm up the car to an operating temperature, open the hood, Remove the oil cup and pour in the additive while the engine is running. If you're lucky, this will solve the noisy lifters and if that's the case, I'd recommend using the additive at each oil change. There are many products on the market to choose from, including Liquid Moly, Lucas and so on, but make sure to do your research for the most suitable one and make sure to read the instruction carefully. Now, as I said earlier, to work properly, the valve lifters need a steady oil flow. And for this, the oil pressure needs to be correct, which won't happen if the oil pump is worn or the oil passages are clogged. If your car has an oil pressure gauge on its dashboard, you can monitor it to see if it's low. Otherwise, you'll need to connect an external oil pressure gauge directly to the engine and check the readings while the car is warmed up and running. In case the oil pressure is low, you'll need to address the issue promptly as it can cause serious damage to the engine's moving parts due to a lack of lubrication. Apart from the oil, the valve lifters might be damaged, causing a tapping noise while the engine is running. In most cases, they will get stuck, generating a ticking sound that might become progressively worse. Also, some older cars, especially American-made, have so-called pushrod engines with a camshaft within the block and the metal pushrods that open the valves inside the cylinder head. These pushrods can bend out of shape, preventing the valves from opening fully. In both cases, you'll have to inspect the valve lifters and corresponding components and replace them if needed. 
Lastly, what I must mention is that while most cars today are equipped with hydraulic lifters, some don't have them. These are usually some older vehicles or high revving sports cars with a direct linkage inside the valve chain. Here, if you hear a rattling, tapping noise from the cylinder head, there is a good chance the valves have excessive clearance. This must be promptly addressed as it can lead to expensive engine damage. In fact, the valve clearance on such cars should be adjusted every 20 or 30 thousand miles as a part of regular maintenance. The valve lifter is a small hydraulic cylinder filled with pressurized engine oil. It's located between the valve stem and camshaft lobe or rocker arm depending on the engine design, where it acts as a cushion and provides a constant and soft connection between these two components. In addition, hydraulic lifters eliminate any clearance between the valve and corresponding valve train parts, which is why cars with such a setup don't need regular valve adjustments. So, the working principle behind the valve lifters is simple and, in general, the only way for them to fail is when the oil pressure inside them is low or when they are clogged with sludge. When that happens, the lifter won't extend fully, which causes it to lose contact with the camshaft or rocker arm, resulting in a topping noise while the engine is running. And, as I mentioned earlier, this is not very harmful to the engine. The valves are, in most cases, still opening as they should, but it's really annoying as it sounds nasty. But regardless, you shouldn't ignore noisy valve lifters, as they might cause damage in the long run. In the end, what's left to discuss is how much it costs to replace bad valve lifters, assuming none of the above-mentioned methods haven't managed to quiet them down. Being simple in design and construction, a valve lifter isn't very expensive and you can buy a new one for 10 bucks or less a piece. And of course, every valve has its lifter, so for a 4-cylinder engine, you'll have 8 or 16 of them, while a V8 might have up to 32 lifters in total. As for the replacement costs, this largely depends on the valve train configuration. If the lifters can be removed with the camshaft still in place, this is usually when the rocker arm is mounted at the top of it, then this can be done relatively simply and you can expect to pay a couple of hundred bucks for the whole job. It's much more complicated, however, if the camshafts need to be removed to access the valves. This procedure involves the removal of the timing chain or belt assembly, which is a far more complex and time-consuming task, with the total cost usually exceeding $1,000. So, there you have it, viewers. Those would be the ways to check the valve lifters and sort them out in case they are noisy. I hope this video was helpful and if so, don't forget to hit that like button and share it with your friends. On the other hand, if you're having some different issues with your car, be sure to check other videos here or visit our site, mechanicbase.com, for detailed automotive repair guides. Bye!